talked about uh, generating an application. We've talked about the design elements that make up an application, user controls, header, footer, third-party controls, that type of thing. Uh, let's now just take a few minutes to go over what's available to us in the iron speed menus and again what we're going to do is just a pretty quick overview and as we move through this video series we're going to explore many of these things in greater detail uh, so if you feel like I'm going kind of fast or you're not quite grasping something give it time we're going to encounter it later and when we do get it later, it's going to be in more detail and it's just going to make more sense. Um, at any time within the Iron Speed Designer interface, we can always generate a new application or a new page, uh, database server connection, that type of thing. Uh, edit menu, pretty straightforward. Um, when we talk about our view, what we're talking about are um, uh, various views presented within the application. Here's one thing that isn't always intuitive. Um, when you finish a build, you may be presented with a message that says the build succeeded or there were build errors. And you may click OK because you want to move on. And maybe at some point down the road, you want to go, hey, wait a second. Uh, I sure would like to see that error again. So if you go back into this view menu and view the output, uh, this window here is going to show you whatever the output was of uh, the last message that you received in the output window. This can be real useful, so keep this in mind as you're using Iron Speed Designer. Uh, HTML Quick View, uh, Safe Source Files Only. Uh, this is pretty intuitive stuff. Just go ahead and experiment. Check and uncheck these, and you'll kind of learn a little bit more about this interface as you go. Tools, uh, Page Properties, application wizard this is that first wizard we saw um, in here in the application wizard we can go in and make changes and customize our application by default it takes us to our table view but we can easily using the back navigation go back and change earlier parts of our application um, at any point in time if we've made changes we can click finish or we can just close the dialog um, the configure menu, configure start page, role-based security wizard. These are all things that we're going to cover in more detail in subsequent videos. Uh, I'm going to dedicate uh, a video completely to databases, uh, updating databases, changing databases, how we make IronSpeed sync up with the database, um, things like that. Customize, code customization wizard. Again, we will spend an entire video going through this um, and we'll go into these features in a little bit more detail. The build menu, there's nothing really unique to see here. Sometimes you might have uh, errors in your application. Those errors can sometimes be cleared up just by doing a rebuild all. Uh, we have some options that we can select for compiling our application, some perfor performance tuning that we can do. Um, and again, a lot of these are going to be covered in subsequent videos. This re-register ASP.NET with IIS is a real important one that can sometimes turn up. And here's our deploy menu. This um, we'll cover in more detail as well. And this is where we are going to generate our applications for installation, maybe on our production server or movement to a different server. Um, or even backing up our applications. I often find it's real convenient to do um, an application build and save the MSI that's generated from the uh, enterprise interface um, as an application backup. Help menu, pretty straightforward here. The online help is tremendously valuable. I couldn't encourage you more to take some time going through each of these options and just reading. now. Um, I think when you first install Iron Speed Designer, reading through this stuff um, won't nearly be nearly as beneficial as it would be if you took some time to mess around with some of the uh, pre-designed applications that are included with Designer and spent some time messing around with them, getting your feet wet. Uh, searching the knowledge base, probably the most powerful tool that you have as an Iron Speed developer. There's just uh, a lot of information here. Training videos, uh, these are videos done by myself and also Alan Fisher, the chairman of Iron Speed. Technical forums, a great place to go for additional information. Uh, it's real simple to register a user account. You don't have to pay for the support, it's user based. And really, in my opinion, this is going to be some of the best support that you actually get. 
if your iron speed license includes a support contract, you can use this link here. And obviously, buy, activate, deactivate. Uh, a couple of words of thought about the activate and the deactivate features here. What iron speed is, um, obviously, it's a real valuable application. And the folks at iron speed have put a lot of time into uh, building this application and making it a rich tool that we can use. Uh, due to that, they have made Iron Speed Designer an activation only application where your key can be activated and used one time on one machine. And if you want to use it on multiple machines, you must first deactivate it. A lot of people view this as, uh, you know, kind of an inconvenience and they're not crazy about it. And, y you know, my answer to that is if, if, uh, people would respect the iron speed license and not try to go <laughs> through every extreme to try to get around it um, this type of uh, application enforcement wouldn't be necessary but it is and so uh, just be aware that if you do reformat your machine you need to deactivate iron speed first and that basically rounds out our discussion that I wanted to have of the iron speed interface and just kind of an overview um, the next series of videos that we do are actually going to take us into using Iron Speed Designer, uh, generating code, customizing it, uh, augmenting the code that we've generated with Visual Studio, and, and just ways that we can go in, make our applications more powerful, um, expand the realms of possibility. Iron Speed Designer is an outstanding beginning, and uh, it sure does build a solid product for us to extend and to take our applications to entirely new levels. And we will cover that and more in later videos, so make sure you come back to the site and see them as they're released.